Hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Last week, Netflix unveiled a captivating video featuring Meghan Markle in a dynamic post screening discussion for director Miss Anne Harriman's debut short film, The After. As an avid follower of the Sussexes' endeavors in championing diverse voices in the arts, I was thrilled to witness Megan taking on the role of moderator at this exclusive event. The After intricately weaves the poignant tale of about a London rideshare driver grappling with the aftermath of a traumatic incident. It serves as the directorial debut for the renowned photographer Meeson Harriman, who consistently leverages his influence to shed light on crucial social issues. Joining Harriman in the conversation was the acclaimed actor David Oyelowo, delivering a compelling performance in the film. The discussion, which took place in Montecito, California, allowed Megan to dive deep into the filmmaking process with these talented men. Leveraging her background in acting, Megan showcased her thoughtful and insightful moderation skills. She engaged Harriman and Oyelowo in a wide-ranging dialogue exploring the challenges of translating the short film's impactful message onto the screen. However, what struck us most was Megan's reflection on the profound nature of the film, she expressed. That's what I was really struck by, is in a world that can feel, and does feel for most of us, I would imagine, so big, mm. this has reminded us of our shared humanity and our connectedness in a way that is so vital right now. Ever committed to steering conversations towards community and unity, Megan infused a personal touch. She revealed that four-year-old Archie, proudly declaring himself four and a half, has developed an interest in photography, thanks to lessons from Harriman. Although still a novice, Archie was disheartened to discover that his camera didn't match up to Harriman's high-end Leica a testament to his developing discerning taste at a tender age. I will leave you on this. His inspiration runs deep. Our four, four and a half year old son, he would say, no, I'm not four, I'm four and a half. Uh, Miss Anne was showing how to, how to do photography the last time he was with us. And I bought Archie a camera. And he said, but it's not a Leica like Miss Anne. <laughs> 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 you are not getting a Leica. Uh, not even Sorry for Christmas, <laughs> exactly. For film enthusiasts, advocates, or those keen on keeping up with the Sussexes. Megan's discussion with Harriman and Oyelo offers a fascinating glimpse into the world of storytelling. It underscores her unwavering commitment to elevating significant narratives and supporting diverse creative voices, transcending even her royal responsibilities. Disclaimer, everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinions based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Meghan's body language toward Harry during a 2018 trip to Belfast caught the eye of at least one body language authority. As Judy James explained to the Daily Mail, Meghan's nonverbal cues displayed a charming dynamic between the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex. Even in the face of less than ideal weather conditions, she was all smiles and enthusiasm. That's okay. We can deal with the rain. Throughout the event, Megan exhibited signs of respect and admiration for her husband. She lowered her head in a gesture of deference and avoided direct eye contact, showcasing her willingness to let him take the lead. While behavior like this could be construed as being about dominance and submission, James insists that it was a beautiful display of partnership and mutual support between the couple. This working trip was right before their wedding, so it's no surprise the pair were in full-on lovebird mode. James told the Daily Mail that Harry's body language said he was enthralled to have Meghan by his side. So much so he may have even been distracted by her presence. As James explained, It would be massively distracting, though in a good way as she is clearly flirting with him. He is clearly enjoying it. She looks stunning, he is just trying to go about his normal role and duties, and it is almost making him laugh. Their report cut through Belfast gloom as ever. Her evident esteem, his fond gaze, a mutual trust bearing fruit wherever they tread. As in life's best partnerships, one shines yet brighter through the other's gleam. May this endure as preface to a future ever fairer. Amid ongoing family drama, Meghan made a bold attempt to exude confidence and take control during a public appearance with Harry at the Natural History Museum in 2019. 
As Judy James explained in the Daily Mail, Megan put on a self-assured display, purposely avoiding touching her baby bump. This deliberate move could be seen as a way to demonstrate her strength and composure despite the turmoil surrounding her. Megan's estranged father, Thomas Markle, had recently leaked a letter to the press from his daughter, and she was clearly not going to let that ruin her night. With a posture that spoke volumes, she stood tall and took the lead alongside Harry, refusing to be overshadowed by the ongoing scrutiny and speculation. By not touching her baby bum, a gesture she had previously displayed during moments of vulnerability and maternal affection, Megan sent a clear message that she was in control of the situation. In addition to her own posture, she also stood more physically distant from Harry as well. James theorized that this was a mutual decision, with Harry allowing his wife to assume more authority with her public appearances, as she had not been in the royal family for very long and she was already exuding great confidence in her newfound position. Poise shone through on that trying day. Questions squirreled without, yet within, steadfast support allowed purpose pride of place. His bolster buoys, her light lifts both in turn. True partnership's power takes root in trials faced, shoulders touching as they forge onward. In a clear attempt to draw parallels between Princess Diana and Harry and Meghan, the Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan showcases a particularly poignant moment when the Sussexes are being driven somewhere in a car as paparazzi are allegedly following them. Speaking with LMT Channel, body language and relationship expert Nicole Moore noticed that Meghan's emotional needs seem to take precedence over her husband's in this stressful situation. According to Moore, Meghan displayed signs of anxiety and discomfort that appeared to be more significant than Harry's emotions at that particular moment. Moore suggested that much of Harry's stress in the situation may have been rooted in seeing Meghan's discomfort. As she explained, He's worried not so much about himself as much as he's worried about Meghan. During the scene, Harry tries to reassure Meghan, who barely glances at him and offers no way to connect with her. Being friends in less than 10 minutes. By providing no comfort for Harry and instead stilling with her own anxiety, Meghan's behavior showcased that her feelings come before Harry's in threatening situations like this. In pressure, empathy is most called for. His care for her first tells of love's tune. What pains one pains both, shared but eased by faith and togetherness. Their rhythm shelters each in turn as darkness nears. Tis in such anchored graces joy's harbor still lies. Harry, Meghan, Prince William, and Kate Middleton made a rare public appearance together in February 2018, where they sat on stage together and talked about the Royal Foundation. It was obvious from even the average observer that there were some major tensions brewing below the surface, though nobody could have known how big those tensions were. However, Judy James noticed the stark contrast between the Sussexes and the Cambridges right away, particularly Meghan Markle and Princess Catherine. James told The Express that while Catherine, who was pregnant at the time, was more soft-spoken and appeared more worn out, while Meghan spoke faster and exuded more confidence than her fellow princess. As a result, Meghan seemed to have somewhat upstaged Prince William and Catherine, which led to a palpably awkward energy. Looking back on signs like these, it's not surprising things turned out the way they did for the brothers and the in-laws. It was even noticeable in the body language between Harry and Meghan that they had obviously been having discussions behind closed doors about the state of their relationship with their royal counterparts. The pair all but confirmed this by making eye contact with each other several times in what James described as knowing glances. According to the expert, by locking eyes at choice talking points, they all but said many of the thoughts they've since voiced out loud. Subtleties abound neath smiles and pressures midst. Our Megan's zeal and Catherine's grace, each serves women in their ways. Between couples report lie worlds, let wisdom guide their paths ahead in service of all people's good. Below the description of the video, we have a link. You click on that link to support the LMT channel to maintain and develop. Hope you become a member of LMT channel. If we have a few thousand members supporting the LMT channel, our team should be stable in the near future. Thank you all. See you again in the new videos we release. Goodbye. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.